Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. So we'll go back and look at some of the younger ladies. They're from 20 to 33. And as I mentioned last night, if you saw yesterday's episode, I have some amazing profiles that <laughs> from being gone this weekend. You know, when I'm downtime, I sit there and swipe on things and, you know, and my God, some of them are just terrible. And we're going to end with another incredibly... So in this age group today, this 20 to 33 age group, we see tons of women talk about being sugar babies and they talk about men's money and they talk about stuff. We're going to see tons of those profiles. And I want to hear it from this lady. I think we've had her on before and uh, she's going to give some more bad advice, but let's hear what she has to say. Here are some warning tips for my sugar babies and future sugar babies. The question has been raised about the downside of sugaring the misogynistic and controlling rich men that some girls may encounter, or the pressures that some sugar babes might feel to be intimate with their financial providers. But there's two things that I want to express here. And I really want to relay this message to the babes that might not have the best judgment skills. One, your body is your choice. No one, and I mean no one on this earth, can make you do what you don't want to do. You are in control of your thoughts and choices in every aspect of your life. And when you're smart, skilled, and you know your self-worth, making a man do what you want without sharing your body comes natural. Number two, if you seem to constantly come across dysfunctionality in the sugar baby world, it's more than likely that you'll choose dysfunction no matter what you label the relationship. Every single sugar daddy I've ever had has been a stand-up guy. I've never had, nor have I personally experienced toxicity because I don't attract those types of relationships and I choose not to entertain those types of men. Being able to hold healthy, beneficial and sustainable relationships on any spectrum comes from knowing yourself. You have to first ask yourself, why am I always attracted to broken men? What in me resonates with those characteristics? What part of me do I have to heal so that I can start to attract the relationships that I truly deserve? It starts with the ashy man in the mirror. Bitch, you gotta fix yourself first before you're aligned with any of the things you feel like you deserve. And that- Yeah, that's, okay, that's enough. I just, I can't even hear. So, I mean, this is just terrible, terrible advice. Um, this is not how good relationships start, ma'am, okay? When you just see the man as some, some sort of financial uh, thing and like there's no actual desire and gentlemen this is why I've said you know unless you are in your 70s and 80s and you're just like I want a younger woman and I have to pay for it you know and again I'm not gonna judge those gentlemen you you do you but like if you want you you start with true desire the woman has to desire you then you start talking about trips and and taking them places and all the crap that they that, that you're talking about you know she she doesn't desire any of these men she just desires what the lifestyle she can get from them, you know, and, and, and good for you, ma'am. Again, I'm not, I'm not even judging her, really. It's the Sims. It's the younger guys who could be, you know, getting, you know, women are giving, you know, free money to, especially on, on OF and that those kind of, that those guys are actually destroying the market. That, that, I wouldn't say even like, you know, the older gentlemen who, you know, there's, cause there's not that many of those guys that go around, but these, the younger guys who, you know, are not on their purpose and just giving women free money on, on OF is just, that's so dumb. And that, that site, I hate that it even exists, but these ladies are gonna see if the, the ones who become into this sugar situation are not, are not gonna like it. They're not gonna have good dating options when they do wanna have a family and things like that. And we're gonna see some just insane stuff today talking about men's money and just that everything's so skewed in 2023, you know, cause you know, women have just so spoiled, but uh, let's get in one more video then we get the profiles. Here are so we've you know seen a lot of women calling men narcissists on the channel um and and i would argue that you know if you look on TikTok and instagram who has the most pictures who's constantly taking selfies themselves who's taught constantly you know thousands of, of pictures of themselves i don't know i i just don't know any men who do that kind of thing but i know tons of women who do those kind of things let's hear what this lady has to say women don't know how to be friends as women as females we were raised that we are supposed to be cared for, provided for, catered to, pampered. And we were also taught that if someone is not adding value to your life, then they don't need to be there. You're not adding anything to me, then what the hell are you doing here? As men, on the other hand, and I'm not saying this just to make something up, it's a perspective that I've heard from so many men, they don't think about what can this do add to my life to be my friend? No, they just simply like the presence. They like that you guys can hang out together, chill, chat, play games or whatever it is that they fancy doing. But they're not looking at what they can get out of that individual. But women are. Every single friend that we have must 
have the ability to add something to our lives. They must be able to support us when we are in times of need or in times of crisis. They must be there to give us some kind of benefit or some kind of value. And if they can't, screw them. I think my husband told me, he said, honestly, it's a selfish, borderline, narcissistic perspective. And I thought about it. And you know what? I agree. Women were raised to be selfish and narcissistic. I would argue that the ratio of narcissistic men and narcissistic women, I hate saying this word, it's higher for the women because we were groomed to be this way. Right from her lips, gentlemen. Yeah, absolutely wonderful, ma'am. Y yes, and, and you know, fantastic. You're actually listening to your husband. I mean, God, this still our heart. It just doesn't happen very often. Now, I don't know how traditional she is with her green hair, but that said, yeah, I, I would argue all the women talking about, you know, male narcissists, of course, generally when they put this, they're talking about the guys are highly attracted to who pumped and dumped them, the Chad. So Chad can't, and Chad can't commit to all of you. We talked about it last night, last night's episode. You, you're only swiping on four and a half percent of guys. You can't have, I mean, those guys, of course, have options that are not going to commit to you all. He, he just couldn't even if he wanted to. And why would he right now? He's smashing all of you. But yeah. That women are far more narcissistic and they talk about how they're mad at men. Of course, women are judging all men are, are over the sliver that they're having bedroom fun with. It's just completely unfair. Let's get in the profiles. Women. So on Dating Delusions, we always start with a great profile. And if this is your first episode. Welcome. This is the great profile today. So she's 29 and she does have her dumb pronouns. So I, I will give her a, yeah, that's just dumb. But anyway, she's in senior sourcing and says about me, been working my business while working. I'm also in school for my MBA. I'm busy, but wanting to make time for someone special. I'm on here. I'm not in here much. So I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I think she's meant to say not. Um, and she's very attractive. She's very feminine. She's about to hit the wall. So, and she's trying to get her degree. I don't have a problem with this, especially at her age. And you know, and again, she'll have, look, all these ladies get tons of swipes anyway, but she has some great pictures and she just, she just comes off very friendly. She's smiling at us. Here's her next picture. Now she is not super domestic. She is getting her, you know, so she might not be the most uh, traditional lady here because she says a non-negotiable, not picky, but doesn't cook much. So you know, there are some guys who like to cook, but again, she's not listing a bunch of requirements. And uh, it, I will say guys, <clears throat> I I like to do the great profile today. It, it is hard <laughs> to find ones that are just straight up great. Um, you know, I guess this is another good profile today, but if she looks great in a bikini and again, lots of guys would take the deal because she's very, very attractive and you know, and, and now, and also, you know, I had someone comment uh, a few days back and was like, you know, I'm an attorney and it really is important to me to have someone with a degree. I am not saying, I mean, first of all, you know, my channel is supposed to have hints of truth it, it, with satire, all right? I'm not saying that what I say isn't true, but I'm saying it's not verbatim exactly, you know, gospel. Um, there are some men who would care about a woman's uh, degree or if she had a graduate degree or whatever like that. Good for you. We're talking about the general average guy it, or, you know, guys a lot of time won't care that she's educated, especially if she's trying to lead with her education. If she looked like this and say, I have a graduate degree, you're like, okay, cool. You you look like you're very attractive, so she has a degree. That necessarily doesn't mean anything. Anyway, just the, the, the crap that people argue about, you know, and again, I'm always here for it, but uh, just silly point. She continues. I mean, <laughs> just a beautiful woman. She's got grades again. She's got a nice, really nice body. She clearly watches her diet and works out. She continues. And this, I've said this picture, this is a great picture, by the way, for, for both uh, genders. If, you know, get, you know, having a handing a drink to like, you know, here I'm at this situation with somebody and it's like coming out of the screen, you know, kind of get into the fourth, you know, the fourth dimension there and it'll pull, you know, it's handing a drink to you. I think that's just a great picture. She's got a great smile. She's just seems like a fun person. You, yeah, she could be just swiping on chat. We don't know that, but ma'am, you're gonna get a round of applause. You know, men are simple, ladies. If you found my channel and you're it's getting your blood boiling, I'm actually, there's someone in the comments right now I'm reading who's you just found my channel. She's not liking what she's saying. And, uh, but yeah, fun, uh, fit, feminine, friendly. That's all we want. Let's get into the nonsense. So she is 21 and you can see down there that she's a complete narcissist, has only pictures of herself on her Instagram and says about me, fight me, fuck me, or shut the fuck up. 
How about new? Yeah, man, you're cl classic aggressive modern woman already coming out with all your anger. And this, now she is smiling. It makes it kind of a joke. But then she says, Daddy said, don't go chasing cowboys. Yet here I am. Yeah, ma'am. I mean, but this, I wanted to lead off with this one because you can see all these pictures of herself on her damn Instagram, you know, with her different hair colors. And I'm this, I'm that, you know. And again, just this attitude, this anger toward men. It's so masculine. You know, this woman's going to be in her masculine. She probably is going to get to the wall and be complaining about her dating options and stuff like that. Just It's just a great way to lead off of the women in this age group, how they just do not get it. Let's continue. So she's 30 and has her dumb pronouns and she says, That's a huge bitch! And then says about me, I have stretched ears, some tattoos, somewhat nerdy, love being spontaneous, love the outdoors and my animals. Sure, ma'am. Avid beard lover. Yep, you want hot chad. Got it, ma'am. <laughs> Short little thing. Man, that means you're like round if you're short and you're that big. <laughs> My God. Nope. Jeez. It's not attractive, ma'am. Music is a big part of my life. Love singing, movie buff, intrigued by paranormal. Yep, she's this too. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> I'll probably kick your ass at Super, Super Smash Brothers. Yep, keep challenging us, ma'am. Awesome. Oh, and sorry, I don't want anyone with a crap ton of kids. When neither do we, ma'am. Also, BBW. Well, ma'am, we definitely don't want that. Ladies, this whole BBW crap, it's not a thing. And you gentlemen, you put it down there in the comments. We were renaming it. I saw a big beluga whale or <laughs> just, it's just so ridiculous. There's just no term for someone trying to say, oh, it's dad bod. No, a lot, of, for a lot of women, dad bod is just basically a buff guy, but like maybe a little stomach. It's not like a big fat guy. These women are fat. Ma'am, she is, she, this woman is, she's like five feet tall. She's probably a size 25, like whatever. You gotta be kidding me. Then she says, I don't like bi guys, but if you look down there, she wants kids. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Oh, when you say all this crap, it sounds like this. Are you threatening me? Just so angry. All these women, just they have their image. She's going to kick our butts at Super Smash Brothers. Then says, I don't like this. Sure, ma'am. But you don't have to. Look, <clears throat> again, you don't have to put this in your profile, ladies. You could just say... If a guy like that, just if he, you see that he's into dudes, just go, you just politely swipe left. But no, of course, politeness would be just too big of a stretch for the modern woman. They just rather be angry at us. You're goddamn right. We continue. So here's another one that liked me and I uh, saw the energy real quick. And so I knew exactly what to do. She says she's 25 and has her dumb pronouns. And she's a compliance analyst and says she went to some sort of university and says about me. Older gentlemen who enjoy providing for a younger woman. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. million. Yeah. Yeah, and she's gonna just back it up right here and say bonus points if you enjoy fine dining. One million dollars. <sighs> Dating intentionally is very important to me. Having a passport is a major plus. Yeah, she is just talking about travel. You know where this is going, boys. <laughs> just, you know, it's very clear. So I right, if you see the world's cutest dog. Yeah, hang on, I got this for you. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Ladies, I wanted to say, look, I know there are some guys who have dogs and, and look, go on profiles and see their dogs and think that's really cute. I, to me, it's just another thing that is going to get in the way of us hanging out. So, you know, you do you, ladies. But God, when I this, you know, this weekend too, when I was on a business trip, just so many profiles with all these dogs. I mean, not just one little dog, like huge, three, four, five huge dogs. Like, <laughs> just no way. Didn't you? Just a girl trying to romanticize her life. Yes, you all are, ma'am. And romanticize, you mean get free things, ma'am. She continues. She then says, swipe right if you're looking for a well-rounded, educated, feminine woman who loves to travel and see the world. And ma'am, I have this for you. Here go. Stop. Stop it all. Oh, just so clear what she wants and she's gonna end it with perfect first date. Going to a Cowboys game, ma'am. I also have this for you. I forgot. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. 
And just to let off with, gentlemen, you know, if, if you're a younger guy and you know you you're not familiar, you know, us, us older guys know the deal. But uh, you younger guys, if you, you know, if you leave with your money and you leave with stuff for a lady like this, they are just gonna leave you because they're just not attracted to you. You know, if you if anything, any sort of hardship, anything goes wrong, because we've all had, but gentlemen, put in the comments. Things go wrong. You know, something maybe maybe you lose your job. Something goes on. They are out the door. <laughs> they, they, it's so you know when they lead like this and she's young and attractive. But she just wants free things. She wants you to take her around the world on your dime, and then she'll find the next best thing. Just absolutely hypergy will kick in. She'll never stay with you. You can just see it will continue. So she is 33, has her dumb pronouns, and is a lab generalist, and says she went to Hogwarts 2023. And then she says about me, Queen. Now, by the way, uh, on that lightsaber battle, if you don't know the, the the frame of reference, so if you're seeing, why are they doing the lightsaber battle? Let me just, for a few guys, because I've had a couple of friends go, what does that mean? You've got one guy on one side saying all women are queens, so he's basically a simp. And the other guy is saying, the, no, they're if they breathe, basically all women are thoughts. Now, I mean, it's supposed to be funny, but yes, they're having a duel, an epic duel of you know which side, you know the simp side basically, and the, so think of one side as the simp, and see one side as a red pill. If that makes any sense. Okay, we continue. Uh, Polly, night shift worker. I have one partner, and I'm practicing solo Polly. Now, I again, I don't normally try to conclude these, but they're just some of these chicks are so ridiculous about their Polly situation. So I've started including them because it's so stupid. I am Demi, which means we have to have some kind of friendship for me to want a physical connection right ma'am what is in it for the man to get this friendship like so you've already got another relationship and you want to got to romance you i, I can't it's just so stupid why would he what all that's going to happen if the guy the guy's going to get into you i mean let's say he, he does do this crap you become your friend you're just going to leave go back to your regular relationship it's just a terrible deal for men ma'am she continues i recently rejoined my favorite sport Ask me about it. I also just cut 75% of my hair off. <laughs> Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. Man, you're really selling us, ma'am. I mean, did, ma'am, did you reread this and think like how ridiculous this is? And just she's, you just, she's full of herself and she's got some simp dude who's she's married to, who, you know, who tell, calls her a queen. You know, she's 5'10", so she just thinks she's all that and then sits there and thinks another guy should be friends first. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. No, ma'am. We continue. So she's 24 and says about me, 5'2". I'm a mama and no, you don't need to pay to play stepdad. How about new? But man, we know we do. See, take a step back. Ladies put this kind of crap at the single moms and then act like this. If you were to get in a real relationship with her, eventually you'd probably move in with them and then you would be stepdad. So it's just crap to say this. Yes, right away, of course. And of course, we, now we have seen some ladies who immediately wanted them to take the deal. But right, eventually it would become that. And it's an extremely precarious situation for men, ma'am, even though you are attractive. She, you know, she's young and attractive, so she'll find some idiot to take this deal. But it's just a terrible deal for most men. She continues, I'll sing to you. Pay for my pedicures and I'll pick your fave color kissy face. Gentlemen, and I can't, you know, young guys, you can swipe a caution these women, but do not give them anything. Do not pay for her pedicure until you've gotten what you, you know, it makes sure you get things out of this. Women will absolutely take your resources and just do exactly what that whammy was telling you and then hit the road. It's so ridiculous women put this crap. Again, the, can you imagine a guy just writing his profile like, you know, you come give me top and uh, then I'll cook you dinner. Like women be like no <laughs> it's just so stupid we continue so she's 31 and says about me workaholic i always return my shopping carts sure ma'am you're you're a full-fledged adult good for you clay shooter trail runner crossfitter uh, by the way I, look you do you crossfit is almost like it's kind of culty by the way i'm not look that's just my opinion of, of crossfit so just when you see someone really in the crossfit it's it's kind of this to me
Red flag. Stop. But to all my CrossFit guys, I'm not trying to shame you if you're to your deal, just that I've met a lot of people that go a little overboard in that kind of stuff. But uh, again, you do you. Um, continue. Mostly here for a dependable gym accountability partner and to arrange play dates for my dogs. How selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. See, and we see this kind of crap all the time. Ladies, men are not some sort of piece of jewelry you can just take on and off at night. We're not just here to do the things you want to do. Ma'am, you're well past here. The ball, the ball, the ball. No man on earth can make you fall. To sit here and just talk about what you want from it again, all these profiles over and over again, you've seen it. It's just what they want and nothing that they're gonna do for the man. And Ken, I just could ask all of them, what is in it for the man? She continues, 5'3", 135, but I carry, so don't get crazy. <laughs> you, you could not be more wrong. Ma'am, why would you have to do, I, I could have put the threatening one as well. Ma'am, why would you put this? <laughs> Look, there's a small percentage of men who do, you know, nefarious things like that, but that's not the general majority of men. Just why would you even need to put this? Ma'am, you already have the dogs are here. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she's 29, account manager, has her degree, and says monogamy. Uh, some of y'all claiming to be ENM, but are not emotionally mature enough for any type of romantic relationship. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, ma'am, I'm so glad you're the judge of who's emotionally mature enough to be in a romantic relationship. It's just it's so ridiculous to put this crap. Man shaming. I mean, I just don't get it. Again, gentlemen, take a step back. We do not women shame in our profiles either. If your dating profile has anything about the past or trauma that you have and like that, change it. It's fun and flirty for on both genders. If everyone just kept it fun and flirty, go and meet each other and talk about things, whatever, it would just lead to a lot more success. But no, if they put this crap in here, but it does it out them, I'll give them that. And then she continues. She then says, pick our first getaway, Aruba, Colorado, or Sicily. <laughs> Hang on. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. I just. I, <laughs> I just the 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 goal of these modern women. Take you to Aruba or Sicily on a first like a first getaway. Get the hell out of here with this, ma'am. It's just they just expect the world, ma'am. You're not God's gift. She's above average attractive and she's not damn God's gift, and but she's gonna continue with this stupid crap. She, she says, I'm convinced that coffee dates feel like they're interviews and are boring. Or here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. I just putting this crap in here. It just, oh, poor modern women are bored. Oh, you just, you're so protected. They're just so soft. She continues. Get to know me and plan a real date before asking me off the app. Oh, oh yes, ma'am, of course, romance and gotta be the most romantic man ever. Oh, please continue, ma'am, with all your requirements. Dating with intention in 2023 is new sexy with winky face, and she continues. Here she is golfing, she more, more expensive activities, and then she says, my love language is, I made us reservations at the place you like, I brought you your favorite latte, couples costumes on Halloween, and dancing in the kitchen, and ma'am, <laughs> the whammies have something to say to you. You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Just so much ego. Ma'am, <clears throat> a man owes you nothing. The expectation of him taking you to damn Aruba and bringing you lattes and all this crap again, just because you're attractive and you get better from your little cooch is not worth the world. It's not. He'll just go get somebody else. We don't care. No one, like you all overvalue it so much. We, it's just not that big of a deal. What do you bring to the table, ma'am? I'm curious. 
Oh. Nope. Yeah. Hardly anything. Yeah, we continue. So, I, <laughs> I just got to play it right now. That's a huge bitch. So, she is 29 and has her dumb pronouns and beauty advisor. It's about me. Filipino and white. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Who the hell cares? We didn't ask your... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Then use single mama of two. I'm out here doing it all on my own for my... Two and ma'am, that's a single mom starter pack. <laughs> ma'am, they're your kids. We don't care about them. She continues. I'm looking for something real. Patient. <laughs> Platonic. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah, okay, so wait. So the guy has to swim through your kids and then has to wait. <laughs> for bedroom fun. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Oh man, continue, ma'am. I'm a real one, and I'm not here out here playing any games. Come find me on whatever that dumb app is. Okay, then she continued. Now she smokes too, so she's massively overweight and smokes. Okay, she's got this. Red flag. Stop. And then here's her next picture. Hey. <laughs> I have to play. I'm sorry. Potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, lamb, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, chicken, chicken. I, <laughs> ma'am, your face can barely fit into the picture. Just, it's time to stop eating and then she confirms how much she eats by saying what makes a relationship great is pineapple upside down cake. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Ma'am, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You need to get in shape and get your life together. You are uh, well, just uh, red flags all over the place. You can't control your own diet. And yet you think you have some sort of reason a guy should be platonic with you first. Like, you've got to be kidding me. She continues. And then she says, the favorite quality in a person is accountability. And ma'am, the irony in this is just. <laughs> the bitch is crazy. <laughs> God, yeah, accountability. Can't clean up my own room, and I'm just, I'm just drastically overweight. And this, and some guy needs to deal with me and my two kids, and just be platonic at first. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, sure, ma'am. Good luck to you. Continue. So she is 29 and liked me on the app as well, and so I sent her on her way as well, as you might guess. It says about me. I'm often told I'm hard to figure out, but I disagree, ask away. Open to a traditional fun man. Okay, let's see about that, ma'am. I enjoy the finer things in life, love shopping, fine dining, traveling, and going to the spa. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. million. Yeah. Ma'am, just getting a guy to spend a bunch of money on you is doesn't make you traditional. It makes you a woman of the night, and that's what we're trying to tell you. Just, you've got to be kidding me with this, she continues. I mean, she is attractive and she's fit, but I mean, then she confirms everything we're saying by saying, if I could have a superpower, it'd be to make money just from the snap of my finger, and ma'am, I have this for you. She belongs to the streets. Yeah, that's what you are, ma'am. When you're talking about all this money, you're not traditional. You're just a lady of the night. You're the oldest profession. That's what it is. And so, you're, look, I'm not judging you. Do you? But that's not traditional. And no man, no self-respecting man would ever take this deal. You're never. There's gonna be no desire. And again, gentlemen, you have to have true desire from a woman. And you know, she's not dropping everything to come see you, and not because you're spending money on her. Yeah, if you're having to spend money. It's just, they're, they're never gonna take you seriously. And ma'am, we're never gonna take you seriously either. You just... <laughs> we continue. So she is 25 and says, beauty at B, and then says about me, no hookups, BBW. Deuce, biggest lady I've ever seen. Ah, that's a huge bitch. Ma'am, that's not a thing. And also, you'd be lucky for if a guy wanted to hook up, ma'am. I mean, why, why would he take you seriously when you can't take your own weight seriously? Then she says, Southern girl, music lover. Okay, just you should have just said that. But then she continues. She then says, the quickest way to my heart is bringing me iced coffee. 
I'm never saying no to that. And ma'am, I have this for you. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. Ma'am, you don't need any more to eat. You need nothing more to drink or eat. Again, what is in it for the man? All you ladies put in these profiles is what you want from a man, not what you'll do for a man. There's just nothing enticing about any of this crap. We just see dollar signs and trauma and drama and anger and vitriol. And you know, I've already got another man, but still wife me and we're gonna see more nonsense because it's coming up right here. So final profile day is just absolutely ridiculous. I can't even believe it's real, it, but it's, it's <laughs> really, but here we go. So she is 31 and in childcare and says, life partner, I'm looking to build something with someone, get married and start a family. Okay, this was fine. Simple as that, no games. Okay, this actually is fine, but then her next thing, I'm polyamorous, but I'm open to monogamy with the right person. So yeah, so she wants a guy to take her seriously. Now, she looks pretty okay up there. She looks fairly attractive, but her you'll see what kind of deal you're really taking in their next pictures. She then says, choose our first date, a brewery, bowling, or Disney. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. million. Yes. Okay, and to be very clear, the one she really means is Disney, and you're gonna see in just a second. <laughs> she could make it extremely clear that's what she cares about. Now, she then says, all I ask is you be open-minded. I'm polyamorous and pansexual, so her mind and life are super open. Okay, so she wants you to basically put babies in her, but let her then get run through by Chad after that. <laughs> <laughs> you you could not be more wrong. Okay. That, <laughs> just, yeah. What a deal for the man, man. But she continues. So you can see her up there. She says the way to win me over is using proper punctuation, spelling, and grammar in a text along with sarcasm and emojis. All that rolled into one during a conversation makes me swoon. And you can see her with her spider webs and pumpkins. Ma'am, you're this. Don't listen to her. The bitch is crazy. Yeah, we don't care about your sarcasm. You know, she wants to see it's classic modern woman be sarcastic. It's, it's just, it's all wrong, ma'am. You just want a guy to take you to Disney and spend a bunch of money and let you just get run through. But she's not done with all this. She continues. And then you can see her right there. She, <laughs> she's this. Awful while it's still a season. <laughs> that says my most irrational fear is one of my weirdest and most irrational fears is bald men. After caring for children my whole life, it, it's I all they see is a baby. It creeps me out. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. See, ma'am, here's the difference. Men can't control that, but you can control your diet. You're just a classic modern woman wanting a man's resources and you're full of yourself and you're past this. And you think shaming men for something they can't control is attractive, okay? If you don't like those guys, let me explain how the app works. You just swipe left on those guys if you don't like bald guys. Totally fine, ma'am, your preferences. But to put it in here is just so narcissistic, so full of yourself, and she's gonna confirm that in her next pictures. Now, I want you to take all this in, gentlemen. Take all of this in. I tried to hide as much as I could, but like, look at this crap. She has a life outtake with 100, like 100 pictures of herself, her Instagram full of more pictures of herself, and then this picture of her at Disney with her crazy dress and her a rainbow thing here and again she wants you to put babies in her and then be able to go have all the casual bedroom fun with chad all she wants <laughs> how about new ma'am i have this for you I mean, you 
talk about a profile that's not just delusional, but full of this, too. Red flag. Stop. I... <laughs> Ma'am, it is never going to happen. There's no self-respecting man or woman in the world who's going to take an overweight chick and put babies in her and then have her get run through by a bunch of other guys and then wants to spend a bunch of money and is so full of herself. I mean, it... <laughs> That's really, this is going to make the top 10 for sure. I, I don't know if it's most delusional. We've seen some insane ones recently. But ma'am, I'm going to send you on your way. And I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers. Thanks so much for all the great comments, and I really appreciate that. If you did like the comment, give it a like. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do it. And please check out the, I, I do mention this a few times, check out the membership page. We do get, we're going to offer a uncensored episode every week for the, our members. They get a special uh, emojis and icon, things like that. It really helped me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.